Hey guys, it's Zerias here, and today's video is going to be a little different from most videos that have been posted up recently. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to challenge the way that a lot of people think. And this might become something of a series coming up soon, where I put out a couple of thoughts and questions to get people to think and challenge the way they believe. These videos' purpose is to bring about some good discussion and to make people think a little more critically. So, since today's episode is going to be about um, catcalling and it's going to revolve around a whole bunch of different definitions, Zerus thought it was best that I take over this time since I'm a definition man. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and, well, let's get started. So the question of today is, are catcalls really misogynistic? I mean, we hear feminists and normal women alike say or use catcalling as an example of the misogyny they have to deal with every day. So in light of what happened with Elliot Rogers and the Yes All Women hashtag, which me and Zerza made lots of videos about, it got me really thinking about this. Are catcalls really a misogynistic thing? Well, let's talk about that. First thing we have to do to define is, what the fuck is a catcall? Well, a catcall and its literal definition are the sounds or the names that you use in order to call a cat. Like, literally. Like, uh, you'd be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. come here, Ch -ch -ch. come here, boy, Ch -ch -ch. come here. That's an example of an actual cat call, a literal cat call. Now, the cat call that a lot of feminists and women like to use are obscene, usually sexual comments uh, addressed or shouted at to a woman that's walking down the street by some man. Usually, that's what feminists and women like to define a cat call. Now, of course, men can also be catcalled, too. But we're not talking about that in this video. So when, in this entire video, we're going to be tackling this idea. Are catcalls really misogynistic? So let's define the word misogyny. The word misogyny means an intense hatred, disdain, or mistrust in women. Right? So when you really think about a definition like that, it seems pretty clear-cut what misogyny is. I guess a real example of misogyny, or an example of misogyny a lot of people may be able to all co-sign with, is beating a woman simply because she's a woman, or hurting a woman because she has done something to you, and you have a disdain for all women. A clinical misogynist is actually a boy, or a man, who was abused by his mother, and because of the abuse by his mother, he grows up to hate all women, and beats and abuses any women that he gets into a relationship with. Right, so those are some pretty good examples of the word misogyny or misogynist uh, using context. So, when you really think about a cat call, what is a cat call really? Now, a lot of women would like to say that a cat call uh, is not a compliment, but I disagree to a certain extent because we now have to define what is a compliment. Webster defines a compliment as an expression of esteem, respect, affection, or admiration. Okay. Another definition for the word compliment is a remark that says something good about someone or something. So now, with, with definitions like those, we could technically categorize a cat call as something of a compliment. If the cat call is something as simple as, hey beautiful, you look good today, that would technically be a compliment. But a lot of women say, Cat calls are not compliments, but they don't ever really go into detail, so hopefully someone in the comment section will. But going back to the context of this video, a cat call could technically be a compliment if, like I said, they say, hey beautiful, you look great today. Now, a lot of women dislike cat calls because they're usually sexual in nature. A lot of cat calls are not as simple as that. A lot of cat calls probably allude to something more like, mmm, nice ass, something like that. Right. Now, I've never been catcalled, so I can't really give you guys a great deal of different examples of it. But uh, I have chatted with a couple of women who have been catcalled, and most of them have all said that they don't like it. <laughs> so now, uh, I can't really delve into why they don't like it, because I didn't actually go specifically into that. But I know it's a general consensus among women that they don't like catcalls. Or some women don't. And I think that's very important to know. Because later in the video, we're going to chat about something along those lines. We're not talking about that right now. Right now, we're still getting to the bottom line of why aren't catcalls considered compliments for some women? Now, I think the answer to the question is this. 
Because a lot of cat calls are actually considered something more sexual in nature, a lot of women oftentimes feel like their bodies are being objectified. They feel like they are being stripped of their human qualities, and they are only seen as an object to pleasure a man. And to a certain extent, that may be true for some guys who do catcall. Some guys who do catcall may only want or may only view the woman as purely a sexual object. But let's now talk about why men catcall in the first place. And the answer, I feel, is pretty simple. You see, because men want attention from women the same way women want attention from men. It's that simple. Except we men cannot get the attention the way you women can. We cannot get attention from women passively. Women usually gain attention from men passively. They dress a certain way, they put on makeup, or they walk a certain way. It, it's never really something strictly active, such as saying something or going up to talk to men. Men can the complete opposite. Men have to dress nice, but women only acknowledge that when the man goes up to talk to her. So now when a man goes up to talk to a woman, he puts himself at risk of rejection or humiliation. Remember, men want that attention from women. A cat call satisfies that attention. If a man shouts, hey, nice ass, and the woman looks or replies, and it can be a negative comment. But if the woman acknowledges that the man says that, he gets that attention he was craving with very little consequence. And that's the thing about cat calling. Most of the time, there is very little consequence to it. Now, from what I can gather from watching a couple of videos here on YouTube, some women dislike catcalls because they aren't asking for the attention, specifically at the time they're being catcalled. If some woman goes to the store and, you know, dresses in, you know, just some jeans and a baggy t-shirt, you know, doesn't want to be attracted, doesn't want to gain that attention, she feels like there's something wrong or it's a problem when a man, excuse me, gives her the attention she was not asking for. They feel like it's a problem because they feel like men are somewhat entitled to their bodies. Now, Zerus and several of the videos we've made has addressed no man truly feels entitled to a woman's body, but that's not how women feel about that. Women don't really like being catcalled because they're not asking for the attention being given to them. At least from what I can gather. Now, of course, I could be wrong, and hopefully some woman will correct me in the comment section below. But that's that for now. Now let's talk about something that a lot of feminists and women don't really like to chat or admit to a lot. And that is something I like to call an attention whore. Now, what is an attention whore? Um, if you just, you know, use some context clues, an attention whore is usually a woman who craves a great deal of male attention and will go through great lengths to obtain that attention. Sometimes they are called thirsty bitches. They're interchangeable. Now, uh, we've all met an attention whore at some point in our lives. We've all met a woman who wants attention from men, probably because she's had a terrible father figure in her life. Now, these women probably go out and seek catcalls. These women are the type of women that you will meet on Instagram. Now, I believe Instagram is a very telling social app because if you notice the women there on Instagram, they get a great deal of attention and thirsty ass comments from men that, let's be honest, want to fuck them. Instagram is probably one of the safest places for a woman to not only show off her ass and show off her breasts, but there's very little consequence for it really, aside from the um, every now and again hater comment they may receive from other women. For the most part, all they get are guys following them and telling them that they look great. To them, catcalling would probably be one of the greatest things that's ever happened to them. But I think it's kind of funny how feminists and other regular women never want to bring up these attention whores and how they crave this masculine attention. Now, like I said, I think Instagram is a very telling website because Instagram truly reveals the depths of the knowledge that women have over male sexuality. And if you don't believe me, we're going to use one woman in particular to demonstrate this point, and then we'll be done with this video. Now, any seasoned internet user, or any perverted bastard, will probably be able to recognize this name. Today, we're going to use one woman 
and that woman's name is Angie Verona. Now, in case you do not know who Angie Verona is, I suggest you pause this video, go to Google, go to Images, and type in Angie Verona, and you will probably get a string of pictures, very sexual pictures, of a young 14 to 15 year old girl. And some of those pictures will probably be of her when she's 18 or 20. Now, what happened to Angie Verona in the past was when she was 14, she decided uh, to take great, a great amount of pictures, very sexual pictures, for her boyfriend. And she would upload them to uh, Photo Bucket. Well, one day, her Photo Bucket got hacked. And all of those sexual pictures that she took were released onto the internet. And a lot of guys from Bodybuilding.com and Reddit would swap these pictures back and forth to each other. And they would all talk about how beautiful she was. Because Angie Verona is a very beautiful woman. Very, 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 very beautiful. Very attractive. Very attractive. Man. Mm. Well, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> anyway. So, if anyone in this world understands uh, just how much men love to talk about and look at beautiful women, it would be Angie Verona. Uh, you can look up a couple of her interviews on YouTube uh, and see how she dealt with what happened to her after all these pictures were released. Now, here's the funny and ironic thing about Angie Verona. Because Angie Verona has an Instagram. And a great deal of the pictures she posts on Instagram are actually very similar to the pictures that she put up or uploaded onto her photo bucket to her boyfriend at the time. So to me, it would seem like she really didn't learn much of any lesson. Or now it is somewhat acceptable for her to um, show off her bathing suits and to show off her ass and show off her breasts on this forum. Because on Instagram, it kind of is. Now, once again, like I said, if there's any woman that understands the concept of uh, male attention, it would be Angie Verona. And she, I know she knows what she does gets her more attention or less attention. And if you don't believe me, we can look at uh, Instagram. So I pulled up her Instagram right now because I follow her, obviously. And right now, she has 172,000 followers on her Instagram. Now, when you look at the pictures that have the most likes, you can tell which ones are going to get the most attention. And I'm sure she knows this when she posts them up. Even though, believe me, we're going to take a great look at this. So here's a picture of her with her boyfriend. We're going to see how many likes this one has. This one has 1,844 likes. Okay, that's, that's not too much relative to the amount of followers she has. Okay, so here's a picture of her in her bathing suit. This one has 10,805 likes. Right? So um, here's one with her dog. Let's see how many likes this one has. This one has 4,565 likes. Okay. Uh, here's another picture of her with her boyfriend. This one has 3,802 likes. Okay, okay. So um, here's a picture. Here's a full body picture of her and some short shorts and... Um, a shirt showing her breasts. Oh, wow, god gee, surprising. This one has 11,323 likes. Okay. Let's look for another picture like that. Let's look for another full body picture. Oh, here's a picture of her showing her butt off. Okay. Um, 10,400, no, I'm sorry, 10,043 likes. Okay. Here's a picture of her showing her breast. 9,211. Another one, showing her cleavage, 8,804. Okay. Another one, showing her cleavage, 9,281. Here's another uh, one in her bathing suit. Let's see how many this one got. Oh, oh, wow, shocking. This one got um, 13,005 likes. And here's the one last one, one last one, um, with her showing off her ass in a nice dress. Uh, 10,653 likes. And I know I said one last one, but let, let's prove this point a little further here. I'm going to show one more picture of her with her boyfriend. Let's see how many likes this one got. Uh, 4,408 likes. In comparison to the one showing off her body. And this is how I am pretty friggin' sure she understands that the way she dresses and presents herself on Instagram is going to get her attention 
and she knows what is not going to get her a great deal of attention. Specifically because, well, she's been going through this shit for more than six years. Or, in conclusion, to answer the question, are cat calls really misogynistic? I would have to say, no, not really. Perhaps very annoying, and perhaps very insensitive, but not really misogynistic. And the reason, and, and here's my, my, me backing it up, because misogyny is the hatred of women. A compliment is something positive, is a positive remark about something. Now, I guess the question is, can you positively remark something that you hate? Yes, technically you can. Except these men are looking for the attention from these women because, not because they hate them, but because they like them and they're attracted to them. So when men catcall, they're not doing it to maintain any sort of power over it. It's quite the opposite, because they wouldn't have to catcall to these women, because these women are the ones that have the power. Remember that. If a man is trying to talk to you, you have all the power in the social realm. Well, guys, that is all I have to say about catcalling. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to take a page out of Xerxes' book and say, if you like this video, please click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, have a discussion, guys, and comment in the comment box below about catcalling. And, as always, me and Zers will see you cool cats soon.